the most popular superstars in NXT, definitely recently, but potentially ever, just had a run with the NXT's top prize. I'm talking, of course, about Trick Willie. Oh, I'm talking, of course, about Trick Williams, who re recently on NXT Heat Wave, as of the recording of this, lost his title. And so, with a with the totality of his reign, you know, in done kind of, I want to kind of go back over the reign and see, you know, how uh, how I would grade it on a scale from an A, like oh, this is so great, to an F, meaning this was the drizzling shits. Now, keep in mind, this is a this is not about Trick Williams as a performer it himself. This is about the reign of him as NXT champion. And so with that, let's go ahead and get right into the video. I, I got my notes here because I uh, I tried to read this, like, or well, tried to memorize this off the cuff and I messed up twice. So we're gonna use notes. <laughs> so Trick Williams won the title at NXT Spring Breaking, beating Ilya Dragunov in a fantastic match in a in, in, in a moment that was somewhat expected because it was right like right around the draft and you figure Ilya was going up but still it was a moment where the, the fans just went bananas when it happened because you had Trick Williams who is the undoubtedly at the time and still is the biggest baby face on the NXT roster finally you know, getting over the uh, hump getting to the top of the mountain and winning a title and he lost that title at the most recent NXT Heat Wave in a fatal four way against Javon Evans, Sean Spears, and the man who won the NXT Championship, Ethan Page. Now let's go and I'm going to break this down by like pros and cons about what I liked about the reign and what I didn't like. Pro, Trick Williams carried himself and was presented as the biggest attraction in NXT because he was. He, he, his aura, his presence helped keep the NXT championship, you know, at the top, at the forefront. And it may, that may not seem like much to me. I'm saying I'm just, it may seem like a dull moment. There are times when you'll have a champion that doesn't feel like the biggest thing. You'll have a champion for shows who like, yes, they're the world champ, but they're not the hottest thing on a uh, ticket or their world champ, but the biggest star is clearly somewhere else doing who knows what. But Trick Williams was that guy. He carried himself like that guy. Whatever Trick Williams did, for the most part, was the bona fide main event ear match or segment. So as far as that, that is a huge pro. He Another pro, dude got to hang out with Sexy Red. I know Sexy Red is not everybody's cup of tea, that's perfectly fine. But you can't deny the star power that brings to it NXT, which, you know, NXT is, quote unquote, the third brand of developmental. And to bring a superstar like Sexy Red in, in and Trick Williams not feel out of place and hang out and, you know, interact and kind of just, if it, it felt right. You know, it felt right. And Trick Williams made sure those segments worked because there was a high chance that it would have been awkward as hell, but no, Trick Williams made it work. So I'll give him that. And Trick, last, like, last little major point, and it, it goes with the aura, goes with the presence, goes with the carrying himself. Whoever interacted with Trick Williams, whereas uh, Metaphor, Ethan Page, Sean Spears, Javon, whoever, inter or anyone else, whoever uh, interacted with Trick, got elevated. If you were in a ring with Trick where it was a promo and a match, or if you were backstage with Trick, you instantly felt elevated because of that during his reign, which is, again, a huge thing. Uh, something very much a uh, a Cody Rose does, to where if you're in a ring with Cody Rose or talking with Cody Rose, or like when Cody Rose came down to NXT a bunch of times, if you were uh, talking to him, it, you didn't really didn't leave leave looking worse you left feeling like a bigger deal than when you started so trick has that quality to him too especially once he gets a couple, couple more years 
a main roster run, main, main roster title run, he's going to do that so, so well. But for this run, he did it for anyone in NXT he interacted with. Now let's talk about the cons. And really, I have kind of one con, but to me, it's a big one. Trick Williams uh, really only had one televised defense, and that was at Battleground against Ethan Page. If I'm forgetting one, roast me in the comments. I looked it up online. He had another one at a house show against Gallus. But I, I know he only had it for about two, two, like two and a half months around there. But still having one defense, like televised defense, is... Uh, it does hurt the rain a bit. And it, sh it should have been like... Even if it was just like a throwaway NXT where like, oh, blah, 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 blah. We fight title now. Yes, good. God. Even that would have helped. But having one televised, televised defense over the rain does hurt the rain a bit. And again, I'm not talking about Trick Williams as a performer. I'm talking about the rain itself. That does hurt us. But really, that was my only criticism. And so with that, it is time to give this rain a title grade. I'm going to go... B plus. I can't give it an A. Had he defended it maybe twice uh, more, like uh, two times more, like on a it could be a random XT, something like that. Had it been a more defenses, I would gave the rain and an A. No, no doubt about it. Like I said, all the pros hang, hang, uh, hung with sexy red. Didn't feel out of place, elevated everyone at XT around him. No matter what he did, he was a star, he was the main event. But having one defense and then losing it, ugh. <laughs> I can't give it A. I really can't give it A. So B plus for that. But uh, yeah, uh, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments, do you agree with mine? Would you give it an A? Would you go lower than a B? Would you give it an F? Don't give it an F. But if you do, tell me why. Also like and subscribe. Appreciate that. Helps me out. We're almost at 50 subs as a recording of this. So we can get to that magic number. Yeah. But as always, on all socials, I am at It's Heartfelt. But right now, I'm just Heartfelt. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.